Hey friends, welcome back for another pregnancy update. If you're new around here, my name is Sandy Kay, and this week I'm going to be going over my 30th week of pregnancy. So let's start with baby's development for this week and how they are looking slash growing. So at this point, the baby is the size of a large cabbage, weighing about three and a half pounds and about 16 inches. And I'm using the Baby Center app this time around. And on there for the development, it says that the baby is now turning their head to look at light if you're shining it at their belly. And special skin cells are making pigments that give skin its color. And finally, lots of movement is now happening, showing that your baby is nice and healthy inside your belly. Let's go ahead and look at my symptoms for my first pregnancy. I actually forgot this week, but just like looking at my journal, I saw that um, my baby shower was coming up soon, so I was getting really excited for that. And at the time, I was working at the high school, at our local high school here as an aide, an educational aide, so I was pretty busy with school starting. So no real symptoms other than that, because I didn't write them down, but I did put that I was nesting hardcore. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the questions I go through each week for baby number two. How far along am I? I am now 31 weeks as of today. And total weight gain, I've gained 16 pounds, same as last week. I tend to gain like two pounds and then it's the same the next week and then gain two more pounds. I don't know, that kind of seems to be the pattern for me lately. And maternity clothes, yes, I am in maternity clothes, stretch marks, no stretch marks yet. And how have I been sleeping? I've been sleeping pretty dang good. I have noticed that I've been waking up more to pee in the middle of the night, but that's usually if I drink a lot of water before bed. So it's not every night that I'm waking up. And then best moment this week, it was so much fun just spending time with family for Easter and seeing my son collect eggs, um, do the Easter egg hunt for the first time, and even though he might have not really known what was going on, he just had fun opening it and seeing the shiny wrappers of the candy and everything. And just having sunshine finally was such a blessing. We've really been enjoying being outside. My son was running around barefoot for hours each day, just playing in the grass, going on the swing, jumping on the tramp. So that's been really fun. And my son right now is 17 months old, if you're curious. And then missing anything? Nope, I am not missing anything as of right now. Food cravings. This week I definitely had a sweet tooth. I don't know if it's just because it was Easter, but I was craving ice cream. And so we did have ice cream and peach cobbler in the Dutch oven twice while I was at my in-laws and so that was delicious and then just craving berries in general just fruit and stuff like that anything making me queasy or sick thankfully no thankfully no nothing is making me sick this week gender guess I'm still going with a girl and labor signs no labor signs and then my symptoms for this week well, I'm just noticing I'm going to have to take this bra off after this video. I just barely put it on an hour or two ago, but my ribs, I can tell, are just expanding because it just started to feel so uncomfortable for me. So that's one symptom to begin with. Also, tingly legs. I notice if I'm crouched down for even a minute or so and just like bending down in like a super low squat, then my legs, when I stand up, start like being, they're like dead legs and they are super tingly. So that's not a very fun one. So I just try and avoid that um, squatting low position. And then also um, when I bend over, and it's usually when it's like bending down super fast, then I'll notice my heart is beating so fast. It's like beating out of my chest. So I just like hold my chest and just try and like breathe and have that calm down a little bit. Something else that I've also noticed with bending over is if I'm bending over to the side, then my oblique 
is must not be as strong anymore and my side tends to hurt it's kind of more of a like sharp pain I would say um, so I try not to bend down to my side just bend down in a squat to pick something up but in general it's getting harder to pick things up and then also a kind of fun symptom is that my skin finally has started to seem more clear this week which is nice that rash that I talked about has cleared up and I haven't had too much acne this week Something else I've noticed is that I run a lot hotter these days, so when I wake up in the, the middle of the night, I am so hot and just having to like take off all the blankets and stuff like that. But if I don't wake up, then I don't always notice how hot I am in the middle of the night, but whenever I do wake up, I seem to be super hot. And then also, with it being sunny outside, I can only be moving, like if I'm walking or like working out or anything outside in the sunshine for 30 minutes or less otherwise if I'm just lounging around I do fine in the heat just making sure I'm drinking a lot of water but that's it for my symptoms and then emotionally how have I been doing I've been feeling pretty darn good I always feel better when it's sunny outside there's something about it just the sunshine makes me so much happier and it was just fun spending time with family as always and then belly button in or out it is still in but very firm at the top and wedding rings on or off my wedding ring is still on happy or moody most of the time i would definitely say happy and then looking forward to anything just looking forward to another it's supposed to be nice weather this week again so looking forward to sunshine and just going to the park with my son all right, let's show you guys the bump. Here's the bump for 31 weeks. In the front, you can feel the baby right here. Thank you so much for joining me for another pregnancy update, and I will catch you guys all next week. Bye!